What's going on? I've got a Synology NAS and I've got a QNAP NAS. And in this video, we're going to directly attach them both together so they can talk to each other, transfer files on their own without needing an intermediary, without needing another device to help them talk to each other. Now, we're going to be doing this using standard Ethernet connections, these guys. And we're going to be connecting over the SMB, which is the Windows file sharing protocol. Now, of course, as we're using SMB, this guide could be used to connect other devices which support that protocol. So, enjoy the show. As you can see, typically I have my MacBook running as the middleman and he connects directly to the Synology via USB to Ethernet adapter. And for QNAP, I use a Thunderbolt 3 cable. However, this of course means that my MacBook Pro needs to be on while the file transfers are occurring. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this Ethernet cable and plug them directly into each other. And then I'm going to log into QNAP. All right, what you first need to do is go into the App Center and download an app called Connect to Cloud Drive. Once that's installed, over inside File Station, you'll have a new dropdown called Remote Mount. So you create a remote mount and you specify how you're going to connect. So you can connect to a cloud service like Dropbox, Google Drive, that sort of thing. And here I want to be connecting using SMB. You can also connect using FTP or WebDAV. So to connect with SMB, you need to have a, a unit which supports SMB. So Synology does that. So I'm going to click on SMB here and get the page set up. What you then need to do is get the IP address of the device you want to connect to. So over here. I have my Synology system. I'm going to go inside control panel. I'm going to click on network. And here are my connected LAN ports. I know that I've connected it to LAN number two. So that's the IP address I want to type in. You can also quickly get the IP address from this drop down here, LAN two. So I'm just going to copy that IP address. And paste it in there. Then you type in your username and password. What you should also do is make sure in file services that you have SMB enabled. If you have that, you can go ahead and type in the name of your shared folder. For example, I'm going to connect to something called temp and it's just going to pre-populate a name. You can always change that name to temp or whatever you feel like and just hit create and it will go ahead and try to connect. And there you go. I've got a connection open with uh, the new temp folder that I've got. And for example, if you want to do a file transfer, you just drag and drop into the folder you want to put it in. And it'll go ahead and start copying that stuff over. And the great thing is it will do in the background without your max usage. So over here, it's copying to temp file listing and it's got a status. It's transferring at 50 megabytes a second and it's got 1,300 files to do. and it's transferring over 33 gigabytes and also gives you an estimated time where it will finish. That's it. It's really simple. Bonus tips. If you don't want to have your, for example, Synology NAS connected to your Mac, you can use an app called Browser Station. And that one, you can launch a browser and you can connect to Synology via the QNAP directly by just typing in the IP address. So you've got a nice solid uh, system for managing all your NASs. Wasn't that easy? Yeah, it was. I love it. It's good. Now it's time to get rid of my slow knowledge NAS and go all out with a Thunderbolt 3 performance. Whew.